phones off, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In Alhamdulillah, Nahmeduhu Hamden, and Lady Biedehi Kulubana, Wayashra Hu Sudurana, Nabuduhu Subhana, Wasamawat Motuyatum Biamini, Okuli Shay Yahdutu, Bikodahi Wakodari, Washado Allah Ilaha Ilallah Wahtahu Lashri Kala, Washado Anan Sayyidina, Wanabina, Mohammed, Sharifu Mahtadi Karimu Hisal. صلى الله وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فأوصيكم أيها الناس ونفسي بأحسن وصايا أحسن وصايا وهي تقول الله هي تقول الله سبحانه فإنه شديد وسريع حساب وفي نفس الوقت هو كريم رحيم لعباده تائبين وموحدين. So all you Muslims, I give you, I stand here in front of you today to give you the best, the best type of instruction, the best type of advice, and that is to fear Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. As I give us, I give this advice to you and also to myself as well. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is severe and swift in punishment. But at the same time, Ya Ibad Allah, he is the most generous and most merciful to his slaves who are monotheistic and they often seek repentance to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is from that, it is from this that I would like to bring to your attention a reminder and a reflection. Remember the time when you were lost on that long road trip on your way to Texas, on your way to South Carolina, on your way to Oklahoma, and you didn't have GPS. Google Maps didn't exist at the time. So you got lost. You were trying to ride on that road with like a quarter of a tank left to go. But however, you were in a, a hick town, no gas stations around. 
Do you remember that time? Who so much guided you? Or rather yet, that time, remember, when you were pushed into that swimming pool or that body of water, not knowing how to swim, drowning, not knowing what to do, as during the times of the old times, everybody so much, if you grew up in the city of Newark or in the, in the local areas, in the local Indian city ne neighborhoods, you had that bad cousin or that bad friend by the name of Junebug, okay, who was just out of line. He wanted to embarrass you. He wanted to embarrass you. He wanted to get arousement out of you. So he pushed you into the pool, okay? In the 80s, if you so much grew up in the 80s, you had people like Pookie. You had that bad person like Pookie who wanted just to make the arousement out of, out, of, out of you, make an embarrassment out of you. So he pushed you into the pool. What did you so much do? Who guided you? Or rather, also, for you brothers and sisters who are happily married, years and years into your blessed and correct civil union, do you remember? Who is it that guided you to your spouse? Who is it that guided you through those rough times when you were low on money, when you and your family were so much low on money, or during those times of pregnancy, when mom, dad, doctors, they didn't have the immediate answer to so much bring your wife or, or your spouse comfort, or even so much to yourself comfort. Who so much guided you? Or rather yet, yet are, you, are you a Muslim who spent time in the church, or so much you were just agnostic? You didn't go to church, but how rather you so much had a belief that there was a, a higher power. You're still a disbeliever because you didn't accept the religion at the time. Who so much guided you? Who opened up your chest wide open and gave you the success to accept this beautiful religion? But rather yet, better off yet, who was it that was guiding the Prophet at those times to perform acts of worship when the Wahi was not exactly delivered to him the way in which we have it today? Like for an example, Okay, the Prophet ﷺ, they used to pray before the, the, the layer to Mi'raj. Okay, before the night of the ascension, they used to pray. But that prayer that they so much performed, it was not the same type of prayer that was given to them on the layer to Mi'raj. Who was that that was so much guiding them? As Allah subhanahu wa said, Man kunta tadri mal kitabu walal iman. Allah Azza wa Jal so much mentioned in Surah to Shura. He said that you did not so much know, O Muhammad wasalam, about the book. You, you didn't know fully about the book. And you didn't know the Al-Iman. You did not know so much about Iman. What meaning? I, you didn't know about full explanation, full explanated details. Because at that time, it was not revealed to you just yet. It was not revealed to you just yet. But however, he was still upright and guided. Who was guiding him? Who was guiding him? Without a doubt, Ya Ibadullah. It was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that was so much guiding him. Without a doubt. But now, what is the name that we call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on, upon? When we wish to so much seek guidance, we are thrown into that pool or lost so much within that road. GPS doesn't so much work. Google Maps doesn't so much work. What do we so much do? What is the name that so much we call? What is that name that so much we call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon? When we are looking for our chest to be wider expanded, for us to accept that what the religion so much gives us. Or we want for our family members to also accept the religion, to have their hearts expanded. Allah wa innuhul al hadi. Now, for al hadi, for inna Allah hu al al hadi, yahdi bi hidayatihi may yasha. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name, when you so much looking to seek guidance, Ya ibadullah, call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by this name al hadi. Al hadi, the one who so much gives guidance to ones who, those who are so much lost. Now you know that this name is surely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And verily, he demanded that we call upon him, upon his beautiful names. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءِ الْحُسْنَى فَدْعُوهُ بِهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much said, it's for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most beautiful names. So call upon him by them, those beautiful names. And his famous compilation, Sheikh Abdul Razak, Hafidullah Ta'ala, he so much explains in his book, Fikr Asma al Husna, the understanding of the most beautiful names. He says that with Hidayatullah, the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is of four types. The guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is of four types. The first one 
And I know that somebody, okay, is, Wink is probably smiling because he knows exactly what I'm about to talk about. The first one, okay, is Hidayat and Aama. This is the, so much the general guidance, the general guidance. And this includes the guidance of every soul to, that, to those things that are so much beneficial for them in order to sustain, sustain its life. Every soul, meaning and including animals, birds, ants, and other creatures, the wild animals, they know so much when they come out of the wounds of their mother, they know exactly which mother to go to. As we cannot see the difference in between, for an example, we cannot see a difference in between the female lions. We cannot see the difference in between the female lions. But however, the baby he so much knows when he comes out of his mother's womb, he know not to go to no one else except for his mother. Except for his mother. Also, likewise, with the ant. The ant, it travels out far distance, he mentions. It goes out far distance into dwellings for his, uh, for his sustenance. Crawling through bumpy, crooked, and bare lands far away. Far away, like for example, no GPS, he doesn't understand this, all right? So he's going out to Idaho, okay? He left him out of New Jersey, for example. So we, I'm talking in human terms, so then that way you can understand, picture what I'm talking about. He goes from out of New Jersey into Idaho, grabs his sustenance, and brings it all the way back to his dwelling place without getting harm, except, except, if someone haram, haramly so much kills the animal, as we know, I mean, haramly kills the ant. As ha ants are haram, they so much kill, ya yeah, a lot. But however, so much if he survives, he brings his sustenance all the way back from Ohio to New Jersey and stores it and is able to so much get back home without any, without any uh, problems. Allah Now, the second type of guidance is hidayat al-irshad. This is the, the guidance of so much instruction and direction. And this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala establishing the proof upon his creation, which by it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't punish a people until he sends a message, the message and a messenger to them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not destroy a people until he establishes a hujjah, a proof and a, and a evidence against them. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much mentioned, وَأَمَّا ثُمُودُ فَهَدَيْنَاهُمْ فَاسْتَحَبُّ الْعَمَا عَلَى الْحُدَى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much mentioned about the people of Thamud that, they, that we had guided them. Being Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He had so much guided them. He uses the word هَدَيْنَاهُمْ being so much that we had guided them. However, they prefer and they loved guidance over, uh, they, they prefer and loved blindness over guidance. When I wrote the Billah. And the last one, number three, before we go to break, okay? It's, this is with the guidance in which all of you, bi'ithnillah, has so much came upon. This guidance has so much hit you. The third guidance, third guidance, okay? This is hidayat al tawfiq. This is the guidance of success. And this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opening, bursting up your hearts and your chest wide open to accept the religion, to accept the truth. Yes, yes, so whoever lost one of the Allah's guide, know for sure, without a doubt, he is guided. How many times so much do we have, we show people the clear signs that's within the Quran and the Sunnah. But however, they do not so much accept it, Ya Ibad Allah. They're not standing next to you in prayer. They're not even so much caring to so much come to the masjid and to so much accept the religion. Why? Because of the fact that Allah SWT did not grant them success. But however, he granted you so much success. So, so glad tidings to Ya Ibad Allah. And Ya and Amatillah. Also, I have to acknowledge the sisters also as well. And treat this great gift of Hijad to their tawfiq as a special, and being so much the special guidance, preciously, treat it preciously by indulging in it, learning about it, and put it into action. Put it into action. Don't so much just learn about it, just to so much seek, your, your, seek a way to up amongst society. No, put it into action. That's how the way that the buttercup is so much going to be actualized. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem. يهدي يهديه بالله من اتبع الردوانه سبل السلام
ويخرجهم من الظلمات إلى النور بإذنه ويهديهم إلى صراط مستقيم بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفع وإياكم من البيان وذكر حكيم قد قلت ما قلت إن سواب فمن الله ومن خطأ فمن نفس والشيطان واستغفر الله وأنتم استغفروه إنه هو الغفور غفار غفار إن الحمد لله هذه لعباده إلى مصالحهم الدنيا الدينية والدنيوية جعل الذين اتبعوا رسوله عليه الصلاة والسلام فوق الذين كفروا إلى يوم القيامة وكفى به وليا وكيلا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد عباد الله قد إن الله هو الحادي والكريم ومن هدايته يتيه يتينا الهدايه باربع انواع وهي هدايه العام هدايه العامه هدايه الارشاد هدايه التوفيق كما ذكرنا والحين سنتحدث عن الهدايه الاخيره من شهر الشيخ عبد الرزاق ومن بعد تعليقات وتفاصيل من شيخ علي حدادي إمام وخطيب في مشهد كبير بالهيرة عديجة بالمدينة الرياض. So now, my beloved Allah, not only that, just is so much to recap, okay? That verily Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, He is Al Hadi. He is Al Hadi. He is the one who so much given guidance, and He is of most generous. And from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, so much uh, guidance. Yani he gives the guidance in four types, as we so much mentioned, being so much the general guidance. The guidance of direction and instruction, and the guidance of success. The guidance of success. So now, within number four, we're going to so much continue on by so much with the, the the explanation of Sheikh Abdul Razak and some comments and explanations by Sheikh Ali Haddadi, who is an Imam or Khatib in a in a, in the uh, community masjid, a large community masjid inside the uh, the neighborhood called Arija. In Medina to Riyadh, inside the city of Riyadh. So the last type, number four, the fourth type of guidance. Okay, the fourth type of guidance is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala al Hidayah ila Jannah wa Nar. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala guiding to a Jannah, paradise, and to the fire. That's Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So the slave will know his place in paradise with his wise vastness. He still will be guided. And know just as he knows his own house in the dunya. It is on the day of judgment, ya ibad Allah, that one will be judged in one or four ways. In one or four ways that you will so much be judged. Which way is going to be yours? Think about it. So, in the explanation, Fozan and also Sheikh Ali Haddad, they explained. They said the first type of people, how the way they're going to be judged. The first type of people, how they're going to be judged. He says they are those who enter into paradise without any reckoning. Go in, go in. You don't have to be judged. Go in, go in. Who are these people? Who are these people? The Prophet ﷺ he mentions so much. Who are these people? In a hadith that is mutafakur alayh, that's reported in Bukhari and Muslim. He says, "Huma nadina la yastarqoon, wa la yatatayyaroon, wa la yaktawoon, wa ala Rabbihim yatawakkanoon." Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa he said, they are those who do not seek ruqya, okay, who do not have the Qur'an, who so much, so much not, do not ask for people to read the Qur'an, for example, upon them, because they have some type of ailment. And also, they do not seek omens, and they do not also get burned for so, so much a way of, uh, of, uh, of um, ilaj, of, uh, of a remedy. But however, upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they put their trust. These are so much the people who go into paradise without any reckoning. Naam ya ibadullah. But why? Because the Sheikh he so much says, these are the people who so much actualize a tawheed. 
The other, these are the people who so much actualize a toheed. Okay? The second type of people, how the way they're going to be judged. Which way are you so much falling in? If you were to die right now, how do you think that you are going to be when you go to the standard from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How are you going to be judged? The second type of people, they are those building upon the explanation in the Quranic verse. As, for, and as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, as for the one who receives his book in his right hand, then he will be the one who, or whose, whose reckoning will be eased. Who will be given an easy reckoning. Who will be given an easy reckoning. I mean so much he will be judged by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and shown all of his sins. All of his sins will be laid out. All of his sins will be laid out. The big, the small, up to the point where the person thinks that he is doomed. He feels embarrassed and he fears that one will see that he indulged in riba. He indulged in fornication. He stole from someone. He backbited somebody. Being so much a Muslim or a Kafir, because it's haram to backbite a Kafir as well. Okay? He is scared. He, he, is, he, is, he, is, he is embarrassed that he showed off and called people to himself instead of calling people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will be scared and, and, and think that he's going to be it's over for him. He's about, he's about to go into the fire. All those sins, all those wrongings that will so much make a person cry blood. That will make a person so much cry blood. He looks around and he sees, hoping that he's not exposed. But however, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has shielded him. So when he goes around, he looks around, he peeks around, he's seeing, the, is anybody so much seeing my sins, what it is that I did? What it is that I did? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, no. Just like on the dunya, I shielded you, and on this day, you will be shielded. And then afterwards, the, sh the, the slave will be given his book in his right hand, this good, good book of good deeds, and his bad deeds will be all forgiven for him. Ma'asalama. <laughs> Gone. Mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, the third type of way is, as reported in the narration, as Mutafakur Ali, by Aisha radiallahu anha, as she said, her, her, her husband, Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, said, Men nushika, men nushika he says, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, so much said, whoever is argued with, for lack of better terms, argued with on the day of judgment, on his reckoning, he is punished. I mean so much, what is it that the Shaykh, he so much mentioned, he says in explaining, this is like the, the opposite of the previous person that we mentioned, as he will be punished by one or two ways. By having his sins exposed, he will be embarrassed, and he will be, put, he will be tortured verbally and rebuked by those within that gathering. Or he will be sent right to the hellfire. Or he will be sent right to the hellfire. He will be embarrassed in front of the people, in front of the malaika, and everybody. And they will call him the hideous of names. They will call him the hideous of names. And then after that, he will be taken to the hellfire. And that's Allah, salama. But however, in the last part, the last part, how the way that they're going to be judged. In this one, there's no difference amongst the scholars. As to, there, there, there's no difference as to what's the outcome amongst the scholars. However, the how, the kafir, the scholars, they defer. And this is the end destination for the kuffar wa munafiqin. For the kuffar wa munafiqin. As they are part of the ulama who said that the kuffar wa munafiqin, they don't have a reckoning. They don't have a judgment. Khalas, it's over for them. They go straight to the fire without even getting reckoned. Look, listen, khalas, right to the fire. Drag him on his face to the hell fire. But as for the second party, also, Sheikh Ali, he, he mentions, he says that the scholars say that the kuffar and munafiqeen, they do have a reckoning. And this is to show the complete justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So their, their deeds will be shown in front of them. The good that they used to do, okay, it'll be shown in front of them. And also the bad that they used to do, it'll be shown in front of them. But however, the good that they used to do, it has no benefit whatsoever. Whatsoever. Why? Because kufr, it erases every single thing that you did from the beginning to the end. Khalas, it's over with. Over with. Over with. And in the end, they both, they get into the hellfire. That's Allah, Afi, Salama. So now, Ya Ibadullah, make your decision, oh, you have Muslim. 
and enjoying in the, in the great guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with and has blessed mankind with by being upright, righteous, and being reckoned and being recognized by Allah, by his angels, and by the righteous as you being the true warrior fighting against your desires. The true warrior is not the one who so much goes out and shoots somebody. The true warrior is not someone who so much goes out and robs somebody and kills somebody. Rather, the true warrior is one who fights and conquers his desires. Very much. Okay, so he is the one who prefers to go to prayer, except for a gang meeting. Okay, Bloods and Crips so much invited him out. He said, Look, listen, no, I got a better gathering. I want to be in the mesh to pray and make a salat. Also, he says, okay, as opposed to going to some musical concert, okay, where so much they learn about the musician, his sins and things like that. He says, no, look, listen, I'm going to Islamic classes. I'm going to learn about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He turns away so much learning about the sins of people and the bad things that's not going to give him any benefit. Rather, it'll so much bring him harm. He goes to the Islamic classes and learns about Allah and his messenger, alayhi salatu wa salam. Naam, ya ibadallah. Naam, so give, so, and, and, so naam. And have you, as you have seen, being enjoined in this religion, it brings about benefits. It brings about benefits by, actual, by, by, by you actualizing it, as the people of the past they so much did, and the current, and their tremendous outcome. But as for the opposite, the one who so much prefers kufr or shirk, and also big uh, and major sins, then you so much know, you know, as we so much mentioned about their outcome. وَعَلَمُوا إِنَّ خَيْرَ الْحَدِيثِ كِتَابُ اللَّهِ وَخَيْرَ الْحَدِيثِ هَدِيَ مُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ وَشَرُّ الْأُمُورِ مُتَثَاتُهَا فَإِنَّ كُلَّ مُحْتَتِمٍ بِدْعَةٌ وَكُلُّ بِدْعَةٍ دَلَالَةٌ وَعَلَيْكُمْ بِالْجَمَاعَةِ فَإِنَّ يَدِ اللَّهِ عَلَى الْجَمَاعَةِ وَمَنْ شَدَّ شَدَّ فِي النَّارِ عِبَادَ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتُهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على عبده على عبدك ورسولك محمد وردا أن خلفاء الراشدين على الإمة المهديين أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن السادة الصحابة أجمعين وعن التابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وعنا معهم بعفك وجودك وكرمك يا مالك المالكين اللهم عز الإسلام المسلمين اللهم عز عز الإسلام المسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام المسلمين وعذر الشرك والمشركين ودمع أداءك أداء الدين وأحمي حوزة الدين اللهم انصرك دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك وعبادك المسلمين اللهم بارك أعمالنا في في شعبان وجاهزنا لرمضان ونحن بالإيمان وبلغنا شهر رمضان شهر قادم وفضلنا باستقلال فضائله بفضائله بالصيام وقيام وإطعام المساكين ويتام وتلاوة القرآن عباد الله إن الله يأمركم بالعلي وإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعيدكم يعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله عظيما جليلا الذي يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ورذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين يا 
يسبح لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض الملك الكدوس الملك الكدوس العزيز الحكيم هو الذي بعث في الأميين رسولا منهم يتلو عليهم آياته ويزكيهم ويزكيهم ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة وإن كانوا من قبل لفي ضلال مبين وآخرين منهم لما يلحقوا بهم وهو العزيز الحكيم ذلك فضل الله يؤتيه من يشاء والله ذو الفضل العظيم مثل الذين حملوا التوراة ثم لم يحملوها كمثل الحمار يحمل أسفارا بيتس مثل القوم الذين كذبوا بآيات الله والله لا يهدي القوم الظالمين قل يا أيها الذين هادوا إن زعمتم إن زعمتم أنكم أولياء من دون الناس فتمنوا الموت إن كنتم صادقين ولا يتمنونه أبدا بما بما قدمت أيديهم والله عليم بالظالمين قل إن الموت الذي تفرون منه فإنه ملاقيكم ثم تردون إلى عالم الغيب والشهادة فينبئكم بما كنتم تعملون الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا إذا نوري للصلاة من يوم الجمعة فاسعوا فاسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذروا البيع ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون وإذا قضيت الصلاة فانتشروا في الأرض وابتغوا من فضل الله واذكروا الله كثيرا لعلكم تفلحون 
وإذا رأوا تجارة أو لهوا فضوا إليها وتركوك قائما قل ما عند الله خير من اللهو ومن التجارة والله خير الرازقين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الله يبارك فيك يا عمي